Marker everyone, it's your friendly doggo Kenai, and unfortunately it's just gonna be me for this video. Um, I know you guys like it when we're both on here, but um, he is unfortunately not feeling too good. Um, he's been sick for the past couple days, so uh, it's just gonna be me. I want to welcome you to Rando Facto, and you guys seem, it seemed like you guys enjoyed when I did the Rando Factos. So I wanted to give you some more facts. So I'm gonna give you 10 random facts that may be funny. Without further ado, let's start with one. Did you know that in the state of Michigan, hunting unicorns is legal? I didn't know that a animal that's not even real, it, it's legal to hunt them apparently. I don't know, Michigan, what are you doing? I, I don't know how that's even legal because it, uh, what are you doing? Smacking horns on onto horses and calling them unicorns? But unicorns are majestic animals, okay? If they were real, they would be majestic and I wouldn't even make that legal. Let's move on to two. Did you know that the national animal of Scotland is a unicorn? <laughs> I saved that for number two because I, I thought of it, it would be perfect. Because I think, honestly, Michigan and Scotland are in cahoots with each other. Yeah, I think they're doing like a, a little fair trade here, you know? <laughs> Moving on to three. Did you know that squirrels cause approximately 10 to 20% of the US's power outages? That's, uh, let's blame that one on Gerald, you know? Blame that on Gerald the squirrel. Can't get anything done with Gerald running across the line and <laughs> All right, let's move on to number four. Let's do it. Did you know that in the 16th century, Turkish women can initiate a divorce if their husbands did not make them enough coffee? You better work on that coffee, man. Otherwise, you're going to lose that woman. You better start working on that coffee. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to lose her. Let's go with number five. Did you know that if Pinocchio said... My nose will grow now. It would actually turn out to be a paradox because it's the truth, but it's also a lie. <laughs> All right, let's move on to number six. Now, this is something that I'm actually gonna put into play, maybe at a convention, maybe at a store, maybe in my own home. Did you know that May 29th is actually put a pillow on your fridge day? Now, this was back in the 19, early 1900s this was actually created and it was a tradition up until I think it was like the 50s or the 60s but it was <laughs> I, I I think there's still some people that may be doing it and I just actually thought of a good idea go to a appliance store and put pillows on top of their fridges I think that'd be a pretty funny pretty funny video I mean hell I would even watch it <laughs> I think that'd be pretty entertaining just going around the different stores and putting a pillow on a fridge <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do all the fridges because you wouldn't get away with it. But if you put a pillow on the fridge, like take it off like they're, they're, um, you know, when you go into the store and you see these little setups, um, take the pillows off of those and put them on top of the fridge. Just, all right, let's move on to uh, seven. Now, I don't know why somebody would do this. Nonetheless, it is a, um, a fact, apparently. I don't know who did this to find this out, but I'm not gonna leave you guys hanging anymore. Did you know? <laughs> did you know that banging your head on the wall for an hour burns 150 calories? Who would sit there and bang their head on the wall just to find out how many calories you would lose? How, why? Just why would you do that? Why you do that? Why you do that? <laughs> it, it makes no sense. Just sitting there smacking your head against the wall. Makes no sense. <laughs> it's okay. Because now they got brain dabblage. You know, brain babbledabbledabbledabbledabbledabbledabbledabbledabbledabbledabbledabbledabbledabbledabbledabbledabbledabbledabbledabbledabbledabbledabbledabbledabbledabbledabbledabbledabbledabbledabbledabbledabbledab
why did I just speak Spanish? If you don't know Spanish, that is number eight. Anyway, let's move on to number eight. Here we go. Did you know that the Supreme Court actually has their own basketball court with a awesome nickname? Can you guess what the nickname is? The highest court in the land. <laughs> uh, but all right, let's move on to numero. I forgot what nine was. Oh, we're just gonna we're gonna move on to number nine. <laughs> Here we go. There is a Norwegian town that has a pretty ironic name, and this name is called Hell. And the reason why it's called Hell is because every winter it freezes over. And it's something we say all the time to our friends or family or just some random person walking down the street when hell freezes over. And I honestly think that's where we actually got it from was from that Norwegian village. And I meant to say village, not town, sorry. Um, but the Norwegian village is called hell because it freezes over during the winter. <laughs> so when hell freezes over. <laughs> But let's move on to number 10. Now, I saved the best for last. Um, hopefully you guys find this as funny as I did. Because uh, I thought it was freaking hilarious. Did you know that there actually is a name for the blob of toothpaste that you put on your toothbrush? Can you guys guess what it is? Don't comment it, but can you guess what it is? You think you know what it is? Let's see if you're right. So the name of the blob of toothpaste on your toothbrush is a nurdle. <laughs> it's so fun to say. <laughs> it's a nurdle. <laughs> Who the hell comes up with that? Just sit there and be like, yeah, guys, what, what, what should we call that blob of uh, toothpaste you put on the toothbrush? I don't know, just why don't we call it a blob? Then you got that one guy, Jim, who sits there and comes up with the brightest idea and goes, why don't we call it a nurdle? <laughs> he is a genius because that's funny. That's funny. You call it a nurdle. If you say it to yourself, I bet you would start laughing. Be like, hold on. Before I brush my teeth, I got to put this nurdle on. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to sit there and concentrate when I'm brushing my teeth because the only thing I'm thinking of is putting a nurdle on my toothbrush. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh god. That was funny. That was funny. I, I you guys are probably thinking I'm a dork, but that 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 was funny. I like that. <laughs> Well, anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys would like to see more of this, let me know in the comments as well. Um, I know you guys already commented about that one fact. But let me know what you guys think. Um, and I will keep doing this because I know on the other one you guys liked. Um, so I will keep making these. Um, and I will start adding more and doing some more research. But I just want to let you guys know that I actually have something special coming up this weekend um, that I will be recording. So uh, get ready for January because when 2022 hits, I have a special video for you guys. So hope you guys are ready for that. But anyway, I love you guys so much. You guys mean the world to me and you guys are the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. You know, obviously, besides corn, you know, corn has been, you know, the greatest thing to happen to me. But anyway, because of you guys, I'm able to continue doing what I'm doing and enjoying what I do. Um, and I have nobody else to thank but you guys. Um, you guys just rock. You guys are amazing. And I couldn't ask for a better family. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys all so much. And I will catch you in the next one. Kenai out. Bye. You guys are still here? Holy crap. You're still here? Wow. I didn't think you guys would still be here. I thought you guys would have left already. Well, for the ones that are still here, you deserve something. And I know you probably know what's coming. You guys deserve it. You deserve it. <laughs> you fluffies get out of here. I'm going to get out of here too. Love you guys. Bye. Oh. Gerald? I think Gerald's in here. I'm gonna go find Gerald. I'll see you guys. Gerald! Gerald! <laughs>